All right, guys, welcome back to another one. We are out here at uh, Sun Cape Blue. Decided to come out here and hit this one up again. It, this this location always has a great, great grouping of cars, everything else. So, I mean, as you can see, as I'm walking by them, I'm, I'm, I'm all the way at the end and, and it's already good. That's interesting. It's like Kose is on a 32. I hadn't seen that before. Actually looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get right at it. I'm gonna show you guys what's out here. Um, we're gonna run through. They've got a bunch of side lots and everything else if you haven't seen uh, how it runs out here. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna have to get away from the gap plant, some base right here. But you guys, let me know what you think. Drop those comments and let's just get right at it. You ready? Come on. All right, so let me get you guys all turned around, all set up. We're gonna go right here and we're just gonna start. Get the NSX on some Mugens. Gonna run down, you guys can see. You got the whole run here, you got the whole side lots. Check out the right hand drive Beagle, four wheel drive. He's got like the the converted OEMs. That's uh that's really cool. I like I like the way that's set up. Still got some people cruising through, cruising in, cruising out. You know, it's how it normally goes out here. But there's always a really good grouping of cars. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drop in this first side lot. Look at right hand drive MK4 on some work emotions like that. Ah, it's awesome. So looks like we got uh probably the Civic playing music. He he's normally playing music. Uh, you got some SRT fours down that way. I'll show you guys those in just a minute. And let's see what we got. Look at super aggressive 33 vented hood. Got all the front arrow and everything else. Purple. Uh, it's great. Ah, it's kind of funny. It's uh, here. Let me show you guys. Purple. Purple GTR 33. This is uh, is the handle. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to walk away from the music for a minute and try and try and get away from it sounds i mean check your bass but i mean it's just gonna kill just gonna kill that copyright and then let me let me flip around show you guys wow convertible celica that is i what is this like one of the first generations they used to have like a super celica or something at one point this one's this one's pretty cool can't say i've seen this one before uh-oh they're uh they're queuing up the new the new uh the new track on that on that music coming out of the car so let me let me work my way i'm gonna i'm gonna have to skip that lane guys i gonna have to skip those uh srt fours over there and we'll just we'll just run down for some reason I don't know. It's not. It's not the Civic. I think it's like a a Maxima or something down there. That's just got the trunk open and bumping their music. You got a GT500. They're always they're always crazy. Look at this dumped out 50 next to it. Wide bodied, fender flared, everything else. So I'm gonna have to run down just a little quick down through this area just to kind of get away from that music um i don't know so viper you get the s2k nice setup nice and nice and simple it's got the the suzuka blue you know the blue nobody likes that's the cheapest one to get so why not he's on some stop techs and everything else got a set of brembos on on this one nice big set of brembos too oem hardtop Nice clean NA. I like the green with the yellow. The green with the yellow looks real good. On some on some like modded steelies so it it fits really clean. Let me uh let me show you guys on this side. Looks like we got a good grouping of like S2Ks and Miatas together. Nice clean white. Simple. It's still running stock wheels. And then as we come across the uh you get the na the black one here i i have to shout this one out every time i see it because i love the the like little fat tires on it on some just little rpfo ones that's just absolutely great uh you get your stanced out mb next to it 
and then you got the Mazda Speed MB. Mazda Speed one looks good. That one, that one you know is gonna be fun. So, you got that grouping of BMWs on this side. Run through, nice clean Evo. Looks good. All right, let's see what else we got down this lot. We're just gonna kind of walk and talk and run through. Um, there's a, what's up guys? Another fun day. Hey, you coming out? You come out. Nice. March show the night. What what day? March 9th. Come out. Okay. They're gonna be there. I should I should be here. I should be here for that. Cool. Cool. I'll see you. Thank you. Cool. All right. So we know what we're doing on the 9th. We're gonna go out to this. That should be a good one. Let's see what we got. We got the TSXs and everything down this run. Look good. I like the I like the three spoke. Kind of reminds me of the old Advan threes. I mean, a different style, I know, but still kind of. And then you got the the real function prepped over here. I like I like the way this looks. You got the front lip, all the little extras on it. Running the Gram lights. That's a good look. Black with the dark blue. They came out as a strong group today. You got the little FC. You guys will get on me about talking how the front bumper looks like a Miata one. You can't, I, I, I can't help it. Now, now I can't unsee it now that I said it and saw it. Like you see the front bumper or the FC and then you see the front bumper or the NA. Like you can tell they're, they're, they're definitely brothers, cousins. I don't know, something like that. Uh, <laughs> you got the low rider truck being worked on. I'll see notch aired out. Got the reverse door. It's working on the, the cutouts for the little uh, T top setup. A real clean S2K. Looks like some, what, Apex wheels? Yeah. It's interesting. I don't normally see it on the Apex wheels. Normally the Apex wheels are more more euro like bmw and stuff like that see our front see our front lip and then he's got like a little air dam because it does it it'll it runs like a little gap in between the the center because that's the way mine was mine had a mine had like a little air dam right here in between the race bread and that but what i did on mine was i actually put air ducting in there and ran ducts in that gap to the brakes so I made it, I made it a little bit more functional instead of just, you know, a regular air gap. Got a 32 with like, what, like a bell side front end on it. What's up, man? What's up? Got one of our, one of our eight, six guys. You been here the whole time? Yeah, I'm about to leave. You I'm leaving? Go to Adam's. Are you? Yeah. Are you staying here the whole time? I'm going to stay here for a little bit. Let me know how Adams is. If it's okay. good, I'll, I'll run over. Okay. I was just in Long Beach. Oh, I just really? came over from Long Beach. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you know, I just should be good right now, but I'll, I'll Okay. Here. Yeah, let me know. Thanks. Cool. And that's that's how the days go. You bump into, you bump into people you know and everything else. They go to different meets. And then, so, so for you guys that are always like, oh, man, how do you know about all the meets? Oh, how? Well... I follow a bunch of pages. Um, if if they post anything about a meet or anything else, I try and save it. I've got a whole spreadsheet and everything else. And then, so my buddies that go to their own meets, have their own schedules, have their own you know groups that they follow or that they go out with, I they'll send me information and they'll be like, oh, did you see this meet? Oh, did you see that? Or like. The guy I bumped into a few minutes ago, he's like, hey man, come out. This is, we're doing this on the night. They all get added to my schedule. And then what you see is, or what I've got is, come every weekend, I've got three, four, six, eight sometimes to pick from. And, and then I just try and group them. And what I do for you guys is I'll, I try and separate them into something that I haven't been to in a while or that I know is gonna be a little different. Or, um, I, I group them by, you know, location because 
Oh, he's got a whole wide body front end on it. That's interesting. Uh, oh, he was running that car. That car smelled hot. Um, <laughs> let me walk down this way. I'm going to show you guys this. But yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll list all the events and everything else that I have. I try and group them. Um, that way, if I'm going to, if I'm going to leave one and go to the next, leave one, go to the next, they're all kind of in the same area. So, uh, like my boy was saying, he's like, oh man, are you going to go up here? You go to the Adams one. I was like, well, kind of like I had thought about it. I had it on my, I had it on my schedule of things. I like the GS. Nice simple set of wheels. Ah, uh, there's that Miata we like. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have him, he, that's where he was headed, so I'm just gonna have him hit me up. And if it's solid, if it has a good turnout, uh, I'll run to it. So, Adams is normally pretty good. They usually have a bunch of, a bunch of like American muscle first, a lot of Mustangs, Chargers, stuff like that. And then after that, they'll have you know, the rest of the grouping of cars that comes out. So if it's real solid, I may head up there next. We'll see. All kind of depends on how the schedule goes. So as you guys see, we've been in and out of these side lots, everything else. That's how it goes here. I'm going to, I'm going to run up the main lot. I, I'll call it the VIP lot because he kind of, the, the host kind of picks and chooses, you know, the theme that he wants, uh, for for the day and we park we park a bunch of cars up there now let's see if there's music because we may not be able to walk and talk we'll see how it goes but oh man i see a beautiful beautiful white 34 up here we're gonna have to up, talk man? about that good morning good morning sorry i'm running late i was up i was at long beach first oh my gosh yeah i just got here from long beach about me what did i do i did no, something wrong no you're not here today no no i, I went to long beach i did uh the bruise cruise oh, yeah. i did the bruise cruise uh it was good it was actually really good and then the cop came through and started it's, it's an excuse for a new one media for a minute yeah yeah exactly they're pretty they're pretty quick about about getting it back to you if you have to send it in for warranty yeah see see what they say you might get lucky yeah man all right so you guys that's how it goes and then sometimes i miss a whole bunch of stuff because I'll end up talking and hanging out and everything else, but um, I'm I'm on it for you guys. Sorry, that was a it was a a little a little short interlude there. So beautiful, beautiful uh, NSX on some white TEs, red brids inside. Um, I think I think the only thing that gets me about it, and just just my own personal opinion. I'm sure, you guys will. will roast me a little bit on it is I can't do the tan I think I'd I think I'd have to swap it all out to black but everything else about it is just absolutely beautiful um look at the group around this 34 I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and get some clean shots of the 34 once everybody kind of gets out of the way it is not a GTR that is a that has an RB25 in it. That is not an RB26. That's interesting. So we're definitely gonna go take a look at it because oh, we just started up. It's it's actually really clean. It it looked like a looked like a 34 GTR, but it's must be a 34 GTT. Interesting. NA is super clean on some Mugens. Let's see what else we got down here. Got a couple older Supras. Got. The house Older body nice. super with the swap. Look, that's the way to do it. Want a little extra power, want a little extra speed, and you still like an older chassis? There you go. Just do that swap. I bet that thing runs. So, another 32. Really clean on some TEs. Got the nice little carbon lip. Everything's been kind of refreshed and cleaned up under the hood. Nice kind of like mid-sized single so it makes some power probably makes enough you know how that is so it's real clean underneath looks good Let's see we got the nsx get the little rs5 the crazy panteras they're always nuts with some big chevy engine or big ford engine or something always something big in the back 
Ford engine. I said Chevy. I, I'll get some comments on that one too, I'm sure. <laughs> Let's see what else we got for muscle cars tucked in the back over here. Nice little Z28 split bumper. Got a little, got a little, a little, it's got a 302 in it, supercharger, little pro charger in it. I'm sure that's fun too. I don't know. I I wouldn't mind an older an older muscle car. We'll have to see. The you know, size of the what's that? Kenny Bell supercharger on Super Snake. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. All right. Then let's see what else we got down this run. Got the vet. Got the little V dub. I like the little V dubs. Super clean on some Porsche wheels. Ah, it looks good. But you know, I'm about the 32, so let's go. Let's go take a little 32. Another single. I like looking at them, seeing what seeing what people are running for the catch cans and everything else. Or like, uh, you know, he's still got ABS. I want to delete ABS off of mine, so we're going to take the ABS out. I always like to see which fuel rails they're running and everything like that. Then you got the the bluebird wagon which this is this is beautiful the color the wheel combination you guys know i love these little crs those are those are great looking wheels like on a nice little set of wheels i love them on like a crx or an eg or something like that but they look really good on this wagon this wagon is super clean look it's got swapped out recaros in it everything's been touched on this really really nice running the ITVs up top all right let's uh let's go around this way see what else we got a couple vets got get the like 90s throwback Gretty uh r32 that's really clean uh I've seen this one a bunch of times this is like full period correct really really nice bunch of Gretty stuff it's got the upgraded seats look at the little data link units I I really like this like exterior wise has just this really period correct look to it um guys what do you think got the right hand drive mk4 next to it got our got our little buddy scoping out the mk4 I think he approves uh clean hey how's it going man really clean nsx we saw this one the other day on on ssrs no wing no nothing else just kind of just kind of low-key just a nice little runner got the next one you get the next fd with the jdm front bumper jdm plate you know the little glow in the dark i need to get one of those those are cool i like the e30 e30 super clean what rx3 rx yeah rx3 got all the gauges sitting out up top that's pretty cool i like i like that look got the shift light and everything else so and then a couple more let's see you got a corolla coming up on some r triple eight r's Right. That looks that looks cool. I bet that's a fun little car. You got the little Porsche. So so this is this is kind of how it goes. When when it's all about just like running gun and not and not like hanging out and really talking to everybody, you know, you come out here spend 20 30 minutes and it still has the the writing on the windshield from when it from when it left this is a uh, right hand drive mk4 guess a non-turbo because it doesn't have a wing or anything else really nice clean prelude we've seen this one before it's the one with the clear tails in the back um but you guys know how we do anytime i see a see a prelude i gotta show you guys 
because we just don't get to see enough of them and and i fully agree with that you know with you guys in the comments about that we we definitely don't get to see enough enough clean ones you know every now and then i get one that comes out to a meet but most of the time they're kind of they're kind of hammered and you know it is what it is so but what i was saying is run and gun good 20 minutes you know 30 minutes we can run through one of these and see everything but i really do like hanging out i really like talking with people and everything else so and then it kind of depends on what cruises in and cruises out so i think i'll i think i'll probably show you guys a video of like what a day kind of goes like for me and like sprinting in between all the meets and and everything else because it's definitely a sprint on the weekends you know when i want to see two three four different shows and you know meets all in one day but uh, this was a run through we did sun k blue i hope you guys enjoyed it i tried to i tried to show you everything and tried to run you through all the side lots and everything else and you know that way if you guys are ever ever in town if you guys are, are following them and are like hey should i go out you guys know what you know what to expect when you come out here so i hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it I hope it wasn't too fast of a run through for you. Uh I, I tried to show you guys everything that's out here and you know, talk about the cars and everything else outside the ones that had music around them. But uh I I'm probably gonna get out of here. I'm probably gonna hit up that other one you me and my buddy were talking about. So you guys let me know what you think. Drop those comments. I'll see you guys at the next one. Thanks for hanging out. Um I got Japan coming up. If you guys are following me, you'll know that. Uh, I, I'm gonna go back to Japan. So I was there in January for Tokyo Auto Salon. I'm gonna head back and uh, do a little bit more. Get a little Evo 9 coming in. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go out to Japan and have some more fun. Uh, so you guys drop those comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys at the next one. Thanks.